What's up guys, my name is Your Heroes and welcome back to more Men of War 2 at the open beta. Now just before I get into today's video, I'd just like to thank you so much for the support you gave on the other video the other day. I, there were a massive amount of comments, likes and even views as well, so thank you so much for that and I, you guys really enjoyed it. And I admit I did get confused on when the release date was going to come in my head and when I saw on Steam and the news that I saw, it said it was coming out in the 20th, 20th of 24th or, it, or 20th of November this month. So, and what I didn't see that they actually rescheduled it till next year in 2024. So, I do apologize. That is my fault. A few of you did uh, take that to, you know, sort automatically. So, I, I do apologize. But it is a shame because I was really excited for this game to come out. But obviously, I still see a lot of things that could be worked on, such as the sound effects and the and a lot of the you know models and the way they're kind of graphically put on so a lot of these things do need to prove upon and that's why it is not coming out till 2024 which i really do appreciate and they did let us know so i do apologize but also really really am um, happy to find that out anyways today we are going to be finally doing a a, a gameplay video on one of the campaigns now i might be doing a multiplayer you know might be a player versus player or a combined arms one which will be really good hopefully it might come out in the next couple of days we'll see how maybe how long the open beta is out for so i don't know if it's going to end tonight as of recording this uh, which it will be you know sunday the 19th but it will be uploaded this video will be out for monday today Anyway, so, but today we're going to be just doing one of the campaign missions, and by the way, I highly recommend you do the training, the basic training. I've completed them all, as you can see. I would highly recommend this out, uh, the training, and what I'm actually going to do is do a review on the basic training, because I did, you know, a review on the basic training for Gates of Hell, so if you haven't seen that video, then make sure you go check it out, but for this, for this basic training i've absolutely loved it there's a few things that i did notice that didn't make sense but a lot of it was good news so i will be doing a review for that so stay tuned to the channel hopefully if the game is still you know is able to play but anyway let us get straight into the campaign and there's only three which is convoy through the snow and towards freedom but we're going to be doing convoy the first one and i hope you guys do enjoy this if you do want to see more of men of war 2 videos like this make sure you subscribe like this button and share um if you're new or whatever it is i forgot how things work nowadays anyway without further ado let's just get straight into the video oh and by the way before we do go on with this it actually tells you a wee bit about the, you know the description of the gameplay you know of the mission you're going to do and you can even view the you know you can view your units that you're going to see within the game as well and tells you you know what you know what available subtypes tells you tactical info advantages disadvantage this game is absolutely epic and also you can change the difficulty i'm putting it on normal because i'm still not 100 percent um film familiarized with this game even though the buttons are very similar to gates fell but i'm not gonna push my luck on that anyway as you can see a lot of informations i absolutely love this and they should be doing this for gates of hell as well for you know the campaign but if this is so much more useful until you can use for when going into battle so you know men of war get a one nil on that but anyway and also with these uh, missions you also get rewards for it as well as doing this tutorial so i that is something that should encourage you to play the story because you will get rewards for it at the end which is also really awesome but anyway guys enough chitter chatter let's just get straight into the action all right guys here we are my gosh sorry i, I I hope you didn't see my microphone there. Anyway, oh my gosh. By the way, I must... Oh, sorry. So, a group of allied troops is stranded in the high ground. Our task is to break through the blockage, rendezvous with our allies, and get the convoy in there. They're in desperate need of ammo and medical attention. This is our primary objective. It will require us to get past large numbers of enemies. Oh my gosh, I managed to read that in time. Our first orders of business is to break down the German barrier... Recon says there's a lot of infantry ahead with no artillery of any kind, so this shouldn't be complicated. Ready? Charge! 
I said that really weird. Anyway, so we have to break down the German barracks. So here we are. Look at this. This is also, by the way, to get rid of the UI in this game, it's com it's the same as Gates of Hell where you press Control Alt Shift D, and it gives you some pretty nice, good thumbnails like this. Anyway, so as you can see, we've got some M4 A3 Shermans here. Uh, we've got an M4 A276 Thunderbolt. We've got some, uh, got some, uh, you know, a a Willys MB, which is kind of like a scout car. We have, a, I presume this is like a supply truck. Um, and uh, we have, oh, no, sorry, this is a supply truck. And this will just be, a, this will be one that will be carrying troops inside. Look at, this is really, really cool. By the way, I hope I don't get copyrighted for music lights because I'll be actually sad. Now I do some, I do have to mess, say something, is that some of the sound effects, you know, when, when infantry fire, the, my, the, it doesn't pick up. Now I don't know if that's like an open beta thing, but I do know that um, it is quite weird and I don't know why it works, so I do apologise, but it just might be an open beta thing considering how the game isn't, you know, fully functioning yet, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. We are going to just highlight everything here, um, just so we can get everything going. Um, oh wait, no, these are oh, these ones I can't do. So it's just the three tanks I've got, and as you can see, look at that. You can hear like some of it fire, but it's not picking up. So I do apologize, but I don't know what the reason is for that. Look, you can't even hear them move. Sorry, I'm trying to. I know I'm talking while the sound's going off, but. It is uh, hard to catch. Look at this though. All this got like the wee jags on the bottom as well. So you know what the good thing about th about this game is that see when you hover over it, it actually tells you all about the information about the gun. So it's a main gun, which is a three three and a inch half. Oh, sorry, the enemy attack from behind. Oh, from behind? What the hell? Where? Oh, turn around. Also, what's a good thing is see when your tank gets hit and you're directly controlling it, like a yellow wee sign will come up showing. Oh my gosh! I repeat, we have taken fire. Oh, that is not good at all. What tank is that? That is a Panzer 3N. I repeat, um, repair it. Repair it. So a way to repair it is kind of the same as a Gates of Hells where you press Control R. The Germans have been taken out. The path is clear. The convoy can move on. Oh geez, that was a close one. Um, so by the way, it's not my sound that, it's not OBS cutting out the sound, it's just the game cutting out, which is weird. Um, but yeah, something, uh, uh, sorry, I was continuing saying is that, that was that was an SS squad. Judge, judging by uniforms, looks like the enemy found out what was going on about our three guys. Stay alert and keep close to the convoy. It's anyone's guess that what surprise are ahead. Yes, absolutely. If I can get this freaking talk done without anybody interrupting me. Oh, another cutscene. Our next goal is a checkpoint across at the crosshead crossroads. There's a village to the east of it, so don't drop your guard. Copy that. Again, some very nice cinematics here. Love it. Um, oh, my game. No, my game. Okay, it's fine. So, as I was trying to say for like the fucking sixth time here, is that when you hover over it, is that you can see like the information about the tank. So it's got its crew, its speed, its armor, its turret armor, its main armor, and you can tell it's got three mach machine guns with one uh, main gun. So I really do it like that. And it tells you tells you a lot about it. All right, I need to get ahead of this convoy before it reaches the next point. So which is over here. So we are going to hurry up. And something that I love about this game that is the finally AI pathing is very very good. It's not perfect. There's still some things that could be improved upon, but definitely you can see like now the movement is at how they don't cross over with each other. There's a robot up ahead. The convoy can't can't keep moving. Okay, that's okay. It's fine. They stop there. That's fine. Um, yeah, as I was saying, like with the AI pathing, the, now you can see, very clearly see it. I mean, they rarely cross over with each other. Someone's firing us from us. We need help. Well, I'm I'm coming, but the AI seems to be. Yeah. You, but you can see rarely how they cross over with the AI pathing, which I really do love. And the AI path is like really clear. It's like blue. Uh, uh, strip, you know, strip lines. Uh, so it's very clear, and they barely cross over from each other. So which doesn't, which don't get in the way from each other. Oh, sugars! Our convoy's just been hit. Oh, please don't tell me I've lost the mission cause of it. We've lost a truck. Oh no! Please don't tell me I've lost the mission. <laughs> That'd be really embarrassing. It's okay. You're fine. You can stay. It's fine. This is uh, this is fine. All right, we're gonna push up ahead. Excellent. The enemy has been destroyed. However, the roadblock is still all right. We need to get rid of that roadblock. Clear the roadblock. Okay, yes sir. So, 
yeah, as I was saying, because I keep getting interrupted, I keep forgetting what I'm saying, is that, um, wait, can you destroy with HE? I don't know, I don't know what to say, um, I don't think we can. Right, let's go up ahead, um, I want to move this here, um, also, why can't they just get around? Right, I'm gonna just keep destroying this, the roadblock. See, now I forgot what I was gonna say because the freaking guy just interrupted me um, as I was speaking. And, uh, oh, we're engaging 12 o'clock. Um, see, now I generally can't remember. Uh, but what I, what I do see is that you can see that I just took a direct hero which was red, which shows that I've been hit badly. But we need to fall back slightly just because um, we're actually gonna take control of this. And by the way, there is, if you're looking for first person, you can, but it's kind of weird. So what you do is that you have to press control, or sorry, shift D, I think, is it? Or is it, I'm pretty sure it's shift D. Um, nope, it is, I'm pretty sure it's shift, shift D. No, sorry, is it shift Q? Oh, I forgot. Oh, it's shift. So to get into first person, it's shift Q, not T, because T just brings up, uh, just kind of brings up a menu here. So it's definitely, not T, it's not T, so it's what you have to press E to direct the tank uh, to control of it, and then you press Shift Q to go into different camera modes. So you can see this is me kind of uh, in, the, in the outside here. You press it, press it again, you can go into kind of like the zoom in version, and then you can go into kind of like the, the barrel section of it as well, which uh, kind of allows you for some reason it's not working the barrel section, but it's really cool. But all you could do is you could just zoom in as well just using the scroll wheel, which also does help. Um, so yeah, um, we're I believe that's that. I believe uh, we've only got, what, two more enemies to go? Um, but yeah, I'm going to take direct control here, which is very nice. Uh, and we're going to just destroy this. Oh yeah, so again, I do apologize for some of the sounds, but it just is the way it is. Nice, okay, we have taken... Uh, this is now covered. Oh, I believe there's one more. Okay, there we go. Right, this area needs... I'm pretty sure that's clear for you, for you guys to get through now. All right, let's uh, turn this around. I hope my the button doesn't stop recording. It doesn't. That's fine. Right there we go. Surely you have to get through. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. See, I don't know why the like when you're moving the sound doesn't pick up like the sound of the vehicles, but it just doesn't. So we'll just move this out the way. Yep. There we go. And possibly glitch out my tank as well, but that's okay. See, as you can see, like this is still a wee bit too like arcadey the way it moves, like how the tank rotates. It's still quite arcadey and it moves too quickly. Tank should feel like a lot more kind of harder to move. Why the hell is the convoy moving? We haven't secured the crossroads yet. What do you mean? Yes, we have. We literally have. What are you talking about? What? Oh, with like one guy left. Oh, sugars. There's a bunch of them. Oh my lord, this is not good. This is not good. The enemy's counterattacking. Don't let them cross. Well, what'd you expect? My tank is not moving. I've only got one tank up in support. Oh my god, my tank is not moving. Ah, uh, this is the beta version. This is what I mean. It, the, the tank's not moving. Oh, my hull's just been pierced. Oh, that's not good. The tank is down. I've lost a tank. I repeat, I've lost a tank. Um, I can't even... See, I think another bad thing of this is that you can't press space to change ammo. Um, quick. Uh. Oh, sugars. Oh, did you hear the ding ding? That's the that's the sound of both tanks going firing their main guns. Right, we need to reload. Oh, there we go. That's good. Right, we lost a tank because the freaking pathing of the AI wouldn't go like... You can see here that, yeah, still a lot. It just won't move. It just won't move. I don't get why, um, which is quite weird. But now, see, now it moves. See, some things aren't quite right with this game yet, but that's why it's kind of releasing in 2024. So I completely understand why they kind of uh, rescheduled it to next year. But honestly, this game's really brilliant right now. The UI and the game, it just feels a lot more simpler to work. But I feel like that's kind of a bad thing because it makes it a wee bit more arcadey. And I don't really, I like arcadey, but I also like a wee bit of realism. But the fact that it's just, uh, it makes it difficult to, um, you know, it makes it difficult to, uh, you know, to make it realistic. I guess it's, you know, it's not great in a sense of that way. Right, there we go. Capture the crossword, which we've done. Woo! 
A scout reports several anti-tank and machine guns positioned in the village. We can't get around them on this rocky terrain and if we drive straight through down the road, the guns will something something. What do you think, Andrew? Who's Andrew? Who the hell's Andrew? Oh, this is Andrew. I suggest calling an airstrike. There's no other way to get rid of this until quickly and effectively. Or we have to get rid of it. You're right, we can use chaos after the strike to easily get the Germans off out of position. I 100% agree. Comes officer, are you ready? Are your orders clear? Execute. Do it now. Oh, this is a very nice cinematic. Oh, a while later. I like how it. Uh, thanks for the thanks for the descriptive detail. Of a while later. Sorry, HQ have gotten back to us. They say they don't have any planes available in the area. But as soon as as soon as they do, they'll send some. Unavail. Unbelievable. More stalling. My men and I will will shut up those Germans guns once and for all before those goddamn cowards are done hesitating. That did not, I don't think that's how that sentence read out but that's way I did it because I had to read really fast there. Alright so we have to now disable the guns. Right don't pause it. Well let's see we've got disposal. We've got our tank here. We've got two tanks available uh, and a bunch of infantry which is good to see. Um, I don't, oh wait, no, we can't use these tanks, no way, it's just infantry we got to use, okay, you know what, that's fine, we're able to do this, okay, let's see what they've got up ahead, um, as you can see, use your mini map down here, because it definitely does help, so looks like they've got some infantry over here, looks like they've got a nasty anti-tank gun, which could really affect us, um, they looks like they have some positions over here, an MG position, uh, where else looks like they've got another MG position, over here and that looks like another one so it looks like they're just kind of crowning down this village over here oh and that could be really nice to blow up but yes let us go so what we've got some a uh, machine gun uh, fire and uh, machine gun support out of interest i wonder if we can do this can we oh we can't look inside of it so yeah there's a lot of new things added to this game and something that i will show you is that the supply truck has added a new section which basically means is that um there's a new like addition to like putting down a stationary supply a, a stationary supply station like warehouse and i know that's crazy to think because when i did the tutorial this was an absolute bizarre thing but it absolutely worked out really well and something that you should also take notice of with the infantry is that you can see in the bottom left where my mouse is there's different formations you can do so the ones i've got just now is like kind of like a straight line or you can get in a formation where it's like that where it's like um this one's called cover so when you when you just click in a general direction here and um, you can see that um it will now get into that um formation here once they get all lined up because there's a lot of them you know um it's kind of like one big circle with small around it with small infantry around it. ah that was i was meant to show you example but i got i've i've just been my cover's just been blown all right okay let's uh let's get down right okay get over here right we need to get that anti-tank gun and a way to do that is by doing it sneakily stealthily right i'm gonna get this guy by the way and, and I'm going to get him to do it, try and get a grenade on over there. By the way, for making troops crawl, by the way, there's not now one button that you have to continually press. So it's not like one button where you uh, press stand, crouch or crawl. They now have three separate buttons for the stand, crouch and uh, kneeling and cover. So that is, I think, a lot better instead of trying to press it like multiple times just to get the right stance. Oh, grenade's gone out. Did it work? Oh, nice one. Oh, wow. What? Oh, wow. We blew that up very nicely. Jesus Christ, man. That was very nice. I very much enjoyed that. Yes, All right. Okay. Let's put him on, on hold fire. And as you can see, the way hold fire is like a wee um, bullet with a circle around it. So it's quite nice and obvious to see. Whereas Gates film makes it slightly harder to see that. And sorry, as I was saying, um, as I keep getting distracted by what I keep saying, which is definitely really annoying, is that, um, damn it, I forgot what I was going to say. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Gee, wow. You know, now that's really cool to see how the fire kind of takes, takes like, goes really bad and then the house gets burnt down. Because I think with Gates of Hell, 
it only does that to like hay huts which makes sense but oh sugars oh no he died damn it he had a soldier coming that way okay um we are going to we're going to do that again but yeah this is that's actually really cool they burnt down a proper like brick house now um so yeah it's really cool now i must i must 100 percent tell you right now that this is still not 100 percent complete there's still quite a lot to do um, as you can see, there's no sound again. I don't know why. Oh. Oh, it's when I stop speaking. Are you serious? It's because it is. Is it because I'm speaking? If it is, then I'm. Oh, sugars. Yep, that was a close one. I think. I think the sound actually turns on when I stop speaking, which is kind of annoying. Um. So I wonder if I can do Control Q. Oh, look at this! You can go to first person. Shoot. Him. I got him before he threw the grenade. Okay, brilliant. Oh, this is cool. Right, let's go over. I don't know how far you can zoom in. Can you? Oh, you can press space to crouch. What's control? Oh, control is just to... Um, uh, we just need to get cover over here. Um, as, Is there another... Oh, what the hell was that? I have no idea what that was, but we are going to take control. I don't know what that sound is. Ah! Got him. Oh, you can see, like, there's also... I forgot a health bar as well. Oh, he's... There we go, he's done. As you can see, also what's really cool about this is that the, you can see that the helmets actually get flown off, so you can actually, like, see their face and facial hair, which is actually really another cool detail. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and... Ah, woo! That was a close one. Right, oh. No! Oh, I almost had him. Right, okay, send up another trooper. I know we're doing this slowly, but I really don't want to get all my men killed considering that this could definitely take a while. Um, I really, I really want to try and get this done uh, as stealthily as possible, but look at the way he just turns it as well. Um, which is quite cool, but what I do want to do is keep myself um, and do this, just crouch just crouch your way right, we are going to get close, or at least try no, why are you running? oh, oh wait he made it, okay fine There we go. I was trying to let you guys hear the explosion there because apparently the audio just cuts out on that, which is kind of annoying when I talk, but I do apologize. Um, right, where's the next um, thing? Now, the problem is that the map is kind of small and I I remember there's a button that you press. I can't remember which button is you press to, to kind of uh, sort out your mini map. I forgot the button. Um, I'll need to have a look at it again, but... Um, yeah, I would definitely pay attention to your map because it definitely is a lot more helpful than I would ever be. Right, we're going to sneak behind this one. It's going to be really good. Okay, we are going to get in range of this one here. And I think we should be fine considering it's it's facing the other way. Right, go on, throw it, throw it, throw it. Get cover, get cover! Ooh. Oh, that was just disappointing. Right, we'll do this again. Oh, you've actually run out of AT grenades. Okay, that's fine. Uh, control P, thank you. Ah, leave me alone! No! What? Where? How? Where? Where? Wh where? I don't understand. Where? Alright, I'm now going to send up two guys because I think this could, uh, this needs to be done a lot quicker. Um, but oh, I think oh wait, no, it's still not, dim um, it's still not done yet. We need to try and take this out as quickly as we can. Um, just go down here, and we're just going to go flank all the way around so we don't get flanked over here again. Try to make sure there's no. What the fr? Oh my god, there's a position right there. Oh my god, I'm realizing this now. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm a complete idiot. By the way, I am playing this 100% live. 
Um, yes, I'm still using my men. Why is this? Po I did not realize there was a position right there. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to be careful of that now. Thank you for absolutely just not letting me know. Um, but that's because the sound effects are still rubbish in this game, but that is okay. Um, I'm going to do it myself. Is that... Wow, is that a guy with an AT gun? Right, okay. Or, or a bazooka. It's a rocket launcher, sorry. Right, those machine gunners are going to pay for what they've done to me and my people. Right, okay, they're right there. Right, okay, I think I should be able to do this sneakily. Hopefully without getting spotted. I should be able to get a nice clean cut. Although it could hit... It could hit the barricades. Right. Come on. Wow! Oh, it did nothing! Nothing! Wow, that was very disappointing. Pfft. I'm I'm actually no can I just sad. Right. What? Where's the splash damage? The splash damage should be killing them in an instant. Uh okay, you, that's something you're gonna need to fix there. What am I just blind or is this is this just not working? Oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go, now it's down. Right, okay, we're gonna get this guy. By the way, this is what I think makes it really fun, is that how you can have to kind of do this uh, strategically, so you kind of have to try and get around, even though there's a guy right... Oh, there's a guy facing right there. Right, I need to try and get pretty close, but not too close. I need him to start crawling. I could get this guy on here, actually. See if I can get him on here and then just turn it around on here. This, that would actually just be brilliant. What the hell is that? Look! Oh, there he is. Right, hold on. He's not aiming at... Right, hold on. Yes. Oh, yes, brilliant. The sound of that as well. Brilliant. Oh, and he's dead. Lovely. Right, that... Right, that, that guy can stay on there. Just keep an eye on him. Or pin him down anyway. Lovely. Right, let's just keep going. Just keep a, keep going along here. Right, we've only got a couple left. We've just now just got this area to try and conquer. And that's where the rest of our guys will now finally just come in. Um, I don't want to completely YOLO it. I still feel like I'm quite vulnerable over here. Um, but let's, uh, let's go for a wee short walk, shall we? Um, okay, let's stop firing. Stop! So you have to really even just zoom in just to listen to it. Um, right, I want this guy over here. Did all of them make it? Oh, they did. They all made it. Well done. Right, okay, let's take and direct control, please. There we go. He's dead. Lovely. He's down. Oh, no. Move, 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 move. Woo, that was close. I don't know what that was, but he almost died. Alright, let's do this sneakily, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? And I'm not very good at that, but I think in this game, it's you have to do a wee bit more attention to it. Um, should I... I think I'll... Yes, I think sir. I might prioritise this area, the machine gun out wide first, and then work myself... And my, then work my way in. Because there's a lot of shoulders guarding this one area, but I think I should be able to um, get him down. Right, let's do it. Yes, I think I should be able to do this quite well. I feel quite confident about this. Hopefully uh, nobody else is kind of guarding this area. Um, or guarding that machine gunner. And then also guarding this AT gun. Which I'm kind of really hoping for it to go quite well. Get down. Ooh, that was close. Right. Do you not have any sort of... Um, oh, this guy has no grenades left. Great. This guy has absolutely just no grenades. Um... Do you have any type of grenade? You do. You don't. Does anyone else have any other grenades? Oh, you do. Perfect. You should be able to do it. Oh, wait, no. Stop. Oh, 
that AT gun was looking right at me. I swear to you, he was. Right, let's get down a wee bit. Let's get you comfortable over here. Right, you're over this area. Right, crawl. Carefully, do not get yourself killed. Come on. Right, throw it. You can see there's also kind of like a red circle uh, around the around the soldier that shows him uh, where the grenade will land. Oh my god! He absolutely just flew. Oh wait, kill <laughs> I saw that that 80 gun just kill my guy and also him at the same time. Oh, that is brilliant, man. Brilliant. Okay, I think I might have lost a couple guys, which is annoying, but it's uh, it's the truth. Right, let's get off here. It's uh, let's kind of get off here now. If I if I can move backwards, I ca I can't get this guy off. He won't he won't come off it. Right, this guy will not move. This is kind of annoying as well. Why is there? Why can I not press G to get this guy off? I think that's also that's some things to be worked on as well. Um, I need to get need to take out that machine gun. Um, I don't know if oh he did make it back alive. Right, move out. Oh, okay. I would say we're considerably doing quite well. Um, I need to blow up. Uh, I need to blow up this. I need to blow up this AT gun, but I don't know where that machine gun is. There's there's a couple left, but in the meantime, I think I can take out some infantry, um, or at least try and take out this. An anti personnel, just blow up that truck, blow it up, because that's a fuel truck as well. We can do this. Come on. Oh, this is going to be nice, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he, uh, no, no, no. Oh, wow, he managed to clutch all that. Oh no. Oh my god. My guy died. Great. I've already lost one, two, three. Uh, one, two, uh, three. I think I've lost about four or five guys now. I've only got a couple left, but Jesus, look at that. Wow. I love to see that's what I love to see the realistic fire of it how it just burns everything around it Gatesfeld does do that but I think it does it it doesn't do it very well which is kind of a shame but I understand it this guy has a large ass machine gun which I do kind of want to use to destroy this machine or this area over here but in the meantime I want to try and take out also this um, this AT gun wherever it is uh, the AT gun is right. Oh wait, where was it? Oh, it's right here. But I think if we can try and take out this, this um, oh, we can. What's shift D? Oh, if we can, if we can try and. Yeah, yeah, G. If we can try and take out that, that'd be quite nice. Um, right. I think if we can crawl and keep our guy silent, then I believe we can crawl up sneakily right let's go with the c4 with the dynamite which will be very nice explosion i'm really hoping to see some good explosions in this game because i've seen good so far but i think i can see better i'm not <gasps> whoa you saw how he shot there not yet i'm afraid we are not comfortable with that decision right he's getting quite close oh my how close do you need to be for c4 Oh, you threw it! Oh, I think the... Oh, you saw my guy! Oh my god! Wait! How did that not explode? What the f... I'm pretty sure he threw a grenade. And... Unless he shot it... But I'm pretty... 100% sure he shot the grenade. Oh my gosh, why is this taking longer than it needs to? Why do I not have any support, like any other support back here? I'm pretty sure I should have used the support. This is some BS here, but it's a good challenge. I like it. Right, where's this AT gun? Right, I think I'm able to hopefully, at least because this guy has a rocket launcher, I might be able to hopefully maybe blow up this this position here right let me give me a good shot come on no nothing yet 
Come on, I better not die. I'm gonna get so annoyed at this. Too far. You're serious. We'll oh my lord. How am I too far? Right, time to take things into my own hands. Time to get the goddamn machine gun or this 80 gun going. Right, turn it. Right, move it. Oh, I can't, I can't even move it. You know what problem is? See, once the guys are attached, they can't, they can't get out of the gun. They, they can't get out the gun. Need more crew. Well, I, I can't. This guy can't even move either. Look, there's a wee cross here. What is this? Why would you... Why is this an invention in the game? I've just had a shiver down my spine. Oh, uh, now I've only got two guys that I can use left. And both of them are basically screwed because I I can't I can't kill him. Right. I, I literally can't do anything. Yet yeah, like I want to get out the tank. I, I can't get out the tank, that's the thing. Move backwards. I, I generally I can't do anything. Oh no, now you do it? You f you're joking this whole time. Exit vehicle. I pray. What's the exit vehicle button? Right. Okay. I finally have two crew available. Thank goodness for that. What was that? Jesus, that scared me there to my core. Woo! What? What? What is happening? Something is just freaking out. I have no idea what this is. Right, control. I'm going to take control. Right, fire. Too far. Too far. What's the range on this guy? He's, he's out of range. You're serious. Oh, Lord Jesus. By the way, I think you can also, in, like, yeah, you can take, like, you can take stuff from him. Um, sorry. Like, you can see this guy has already a lot of stuff, but, um, yeah, I need to try and get really close to him for the C4 explosion, yes, which sir. I've been trying for now 40 minutes now. Right, and my clue, right, no one else, no other soldiers are around, are they? Besides maybe one or two over there, but this, this we'll will, this will be it. This is, if I do shift D, right, that's good. Now he has the C4. Uh, the dynamite which hopefully he will use because I'm freaking fed up of it of him not using it right you can no way is a range that bad for dynamite come on right I'll just throw it because I know how the I know the range of it I know the range of the uh, dynamite can be quite explo explosive. Wow. I think that's him down. Yep. Good call on that. That was a very good call. Um, yeah, I'm going to get some more dynamite over here. Right. Let's go check on him. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was so worth the wait. Um, don't tell my, my other guy's dead. Right. Um, I'm gonna need to take some bandages as well. Right now they're moving. Right, I want to get some guys along. Oh, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to, considering that 80 gun is just looking right there. Right, get up, get up, get up. Why are you reloading? Reload! Right, move out slowly. Dude, why is there no sound? It's annoying, there's no sound. Okay, that's good. I think all the infantry, I think there's one more infantry. Yeah, there's one more infantry that I see right there. Um, but let's go take him out. I'm sorry there's no sound because I wanted you guys to hear like the whole, the whole thing of it today. But obviously there's not, um, which is kind of annoying. There we go, got him. You can hear the little we'll do that. 
which is kind of annoying because you can't hear everything but yeah it's it's that right this time doesn't matter we are going to press shift d and we are going to blow some shit up you hear me we're we're going to get the dynamite that he's got in his hand right there you can see it he needs to get like three meters what did you just throw what did you just throw what time you just threw a smoke grenade you just threw a smoke grenade you freaking douchebag i want you to throw a dynamite throw your dynamite throw your oh my right shift d right there we go right throw it oh my god that was really damn close i see oh it's falling in it's right there it's freaking out hey we did it finally sir we're being surrounded oh my god how long is this mission i've been recording for almost like an hour 40 minutes to the house everyone go and he just glitched through the house permission to speak lieutenant go ahead oh this mission is gonna last forever sir sergeant howard's squad entered the village to destroy the anti-tank artillery that's positioned there they did take out the gun but they got trapped and now they're inside a house dismiss soldier or something like that i didn't re randy's an idiot there's no orders to press the guns he led his own men into those machine guns i'll have to i'll have him man courted carl it's still risky for your tanks to enter the village will will you let me pull him out oh f f go for it andrew you're the only hope he's got left oh my gosh that is amazing but you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to be leaving it there for today. I think this mission was a great success. Um, as you can see, we now have um, a lot more soldiers. There is some tanks here that I... That I oh, more than... Oh, there's a sniper up there. Oh, that's a really cool, another really nice cinematic there. Thank you. Oh, and he's sniping my men. Sarge is dead. This is never ending, is it? Damn it, get the medic now. Oh my god. When is this going to end? Sir, it looks like there's a sniper up in the clock tower. Well, blow it up then. Look, there's an AT gun right there. Oh, he's aiming. Here's my order. The sniper's in the primary target. Take him out before he picks us all off. Yup, he's aiming. Fire! Oh, he fired it. See, you're meant to hear the sound of it. And it's, it's not just because of me talking, by the way. I'm figuring that out. But there you go guys, that is it for today. I hope you did this joy of the, it's not a sneak peek, but it's an, or the open beta of Men of War 2. If you did like this and would you like to see more, then make sure you stay tuned to the channel and make sure you subscribe and let's see if we can get to um, that amount of views and likes that we did in the other video for Men of War 2. But other than that guys, thank you so much for watching. I think this is an awesome gameplay so far. I think there's still a lot of things to be proven on, especially the sound effects, the models of the characters even though some of them are really awesome i think they're still it's still a wee bit too arcadey for me i think there needs to be a wee bit more realism in this game first before it releases but anyway guys that is it for today thank you so much for watching and i hope you had a good weekend other than that thank you so much for watching and our sport and i will see you in the next video see you later and goodbye